it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dodge. And it's the veil. And it's time for some shenanigans. We back, y'all. We in this bag. Hey, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, give us the love. Give us the love. We'll take the cheek. The kisses on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All welcome stars. back. All stars. We're all stars. All stars. We are here for RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 7. Episode 4. Who? 4. 4. 3 or 4. Three four. 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 Episode four. <laughs> That's what, yeah, four. That's it, episode four. <laughs> Welcome back, all y'all. Thank y'all for being here. And uh, if you are new to the channel, Hello. subscribe right now. Right now. Hit that subscribe button. Right now, you don't Follow miss this us. shit. Don't even look at the channel. Don't even fast forward to subscribe right now, okay? Right now, for real. You know, some people need to like listen to us first before they hit the subscribe button. Bitch, you don't need to do that. Just hit it right now, okay? Get up in here. Join the family. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, so we on this episode. Let's just get off into this shit, y'all. So the episode starts out with the girls coming back into the workroom. Talking shit. As always, y'all know how we do. You know, they talk, come talking shit, doing their thing or whatever. And, um, you know, what you call it comes into the workroom from an old nasty high. Um, Jada Essence Hall, you know, my bitch won. She declared the winner. Rightfully the so. Because you ate that shit the fuck up. She did. You sold the fuck out that shit. I want to see like yeah. behind the scenes, like when them bitches actually like halfway done and shit like that. Y'all need to give us the tea on that, okay? Cause she did that shit. That shit looked epic. They make it seem like for us that it's take probably a day for them to do it. But it don't. But I'm sure I feel it's like, like it take at least like a week. Okay. <laughs> it look like a day for us, but I feel like it definitely takes like at least a week or something. Like it gotta be a week. I need to see the process of these hoes doing this shit because you know I'm I'm sure y'all are amazing. Some of them hoes shit look like it was. Like made in a day, but right, but I want to see the process. Took a week, you know what I mean. But some people garments shouldn't be taking a fuck a week. Evie Ali, bitch, that should have took a week, right? I don't remember what she had. That on. pink shit, you know, oh, the, the holes in there. The, the pink panty yeah, like she thing. Just, just like the took pink, a knife and just cut some holes. Pink thing for the knife. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> cut some shit. <laughs> pink ghost. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so you know, it shouldn't take that long. But anyway. So they come, you know, they talk of Jada, you know, she gagging, she happy, you know, she living her best life, whatever. But Jada, you know, as we she said. like, I get my validation right. and shit, you know. I know, her vindication. No, that's when you want to. Right, I mean, I know that's what she said. But. Right. <laughs> Good to get that, like, vindication that, like, bro, you, you're that girl. Is that the right word? She feel vindicated. But I'm validated is what she meant. Validation. What the f is vindication? Revenge. Going back to revenge. revenge. Validated for her achievement in a, yeah. in a post pandemic world. As you should, bitch. Like we were saying up on the channel, we gave you your nasty praise, we gave you your flowers. Like, yes, you know, you're a threat. And I feel like that's probably the main thing. Like, she wanted these girls to know that she is a, a big competition. She competition out here on these streets, especially yeah. with skills like that and acting skills like that. Uh, I mean, funny and I'm trying to tell and you. And shit like that, you know what I mean? She's yeah. She's doing it big out here. Yeah. But yeah, so the girls, you know, and so Jada gave um Jinx the plunger. So Jinx mad about the shit. So you Jinx walk into the room and you know, she your drama. <laughs> Thank you for this magical plunger. I now know the secret as well. And it's like, girl. They are, you know, they are pretending that it's more uh, with the plunger than meets the eye. You know what I mean? So. They gonna carry this shit into the end. Or until at least somebody just be like, okay, bitch. This plunger just means, just, bitch, you just blocked. And that's All it. All will be revealed soon. You I feel like it see. is. It definitely is. But, you know, you know, somebody gonna bust that shit, I feel like. You think so? Or you think they gonna hold the, the secret? They gonna hold the secret. 
I don't know, but of course Drake's being dramatic, you know, with the old nasty, you know, I got the plunger, whatever. But she's a little perturbed by it, but... Because everybody want to win. So right, now, everybody want to win. So now if she just so happened to win, she cannot get a gold Rupita badge. At all for this week, even though my bitch going to slay these hoes. Because RuPaul comes... So with all that being said, RuPaul comes into the workroom. It's the next day, yes. RuPaul talking this crazy RuPaul shit. What he got on? And a hot pink number like a hot pink there you go. jacket with some hot pink fashion glasses. darling fashion fashion yes. Raven dressed him too she not only does makeup but she dresses him as well now that I do not know <laughs> I'm just like don't believe that y'all but yeah so you know what I'm saying you know she he lets them know that girl it's maxi challenge time so, so drop that maxi challenge so for the maxi challenge they gotta do an improv competition it's gonna be an acting challenge uh and it's gonna be a courtroom setting, and it's gonna be called Fairy Tale Justice. You know, what's so crazy because all these, I feel like all these shows now, like, well, not now, but in the 2022, there are so many like judging and like, um, you know, justice type shows out that I don't feel like any of them are real anymore. I mean, a lot of them, there's not on TV. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Judy was real back in the day. Like, that shit was fucking real. I don't know. But I feel like as the years progress, it kind of... I think everything on TV is fake. Yeah, now. Now. Back then, it had some type of authenticity. Thing. Yeah. Especially, like, the reality TVs and shit. Like, yeah. Maybe, like, the first real world, that shit. Yeah, like, like, yeah, those are authentic like shows. That, that first one. Maybe the second one. With Karamo on it? Oh, that shit was fake when he was there. I remember, ooh, I remember when I used to see when I, Karamo was the first boy I seen on TV that was gay, and I was like, oh my god, like, he is me, because I was acting like I liked the boys and girls at the same time. Same thing that he was fucking doing on the show, and I'm like, oh my god, that is me. Like, I never knew, like, you can like both. So, he's the first represent, representation of a black man that was gay on TV that I saw myself in. So, yeah. But anyway, forget about it. So we talking about TV programs. <laughs> Why are we talking about TV programs? Because they're doing a... Oh, yeah. Justice. <laughs> I mean, Justice Elite. Yeah. They're very telling Justice. They're doing very telling Justice. You know, Y'all know how I do. But yeah, so, you know, say doing this courtroom shit or whatever. So very telling Justice. They got to do a... Uh, gonna be a courtroom setting and they're gonna do random uh, fairy tale characters exactly right doing court cases so they got two different teams y'all they split off into two different teams you got team Jada and you got team Trinity so they get to be captains because they won the competition last last episode. week right there we yeah so they picked their teams and said, you know what I'm saying, my bitch Jada, you know what I'm saying, she's like... So first she picked Jinx. She like, Jinx, bitch, get off over here, because this is an acting and challenge. It's, and it's an act, very smart, exactly very strategic. you would pick first. Yes. Okay, that's the first bitch I'm picking. Absolutely. Period. Jinx, first. Then she picked Evie Eiley. Then she picked Monet Exchange. Now that's a good team. It's a good lineup. I definitely think that's a good lineup. You know, all those girls are funny and they definitely are good at, um, oh, they have to improvise. You know, it's an improvisation type of thing. So, you know, they're they know, good at that. There's no script, really. It's a loose script. Yeah. Loose. But you got yeah. you know, fill in the blanks. So then we got Team Trinity. We got, on that team, we got Shea kool -Aid. We got the Vivian. Good and the person who was picked last this episode was Raja. Okay, she felt some type of way about that. She felt, was over I, it. I felt some type of way about that for Raja. I did too, but Don't it's expected. Drag race royalty like that. It's expected. Look at you ain't seen that bitch in you, action No, here. you just got in the damn show. That's Raja. Right uh-uh. Fuck that shit. Bitch, you just got on this show, girl. That's we drag even, race You got royalty. to earn your way into this spot for us to pick your ass first. Raja chopped and booted and scooted <laughs> all they motherfuckers. And that's what her ass got. Big last, bitch. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Yo, bitch, you been booting people all these years, so they paying your ass back. That's why your ass ain't want a challenge either, hell. Because they paying your ass back, Roger. No, they... No, I'm fucking with Roger. That's she, why, she bitch. She about to come up on these bitches. Y'all waiting in your motherfucking seat. <laughs> but yeah, she did feel some type of way, as she should. Like, you, everybody will feel a way if they pick last, you know? But you shouldn't feel like you're less talented. She laughed it off. She ain't mind too much. She did, but low key, bitch, she was mad. You know what I'm saying? She, she was like, bitch, I'm why I'm the oldest one here, you know? <laughs> but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So let's just see what she does with that. Yeah, so, you know, we'll just see what she do with that. That's my bitch, and, you know, she gonna do what she came to do, you know? Period. Periods. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of periods. <laughs> um, Jinx. When they came into the workroom earlier, she was singing the the hip 
the hit down in London, the UK hun. Oh, the hit song UK hun, bitch. You know what I'm saying? My bitches from UK season two. What's that group called? The um, the um, the um, um. The, what are they fucking called? Like the bangers and mass sisters. No. Right. Uh, what? It's Taste Bimini. Team Ping Pong. Uh, Lawrence Cheney. What's the name of the thing? The the slacker. The, the, the dolls. Some dolls. The oh the UK King. The UK dolls. Oh the UK Ken dolls. No. The, the UK. The UK UK Ken dolls. The, the United, United King, King Dots. The yeah. United King Dots. Right, there you go. United King Dots. Okay. Something of that nature. Right, so my bitch came in singing that hit song, you know what I'm saying? You bang, know? bang, boom. Sing, sing, song. Ding, ding, boom. UK Hun. So I said we was too loud last week, so maybe I shouldn't yell. Bitch, I got a big ass mouth, a big ass throat, a big ass, you know what? You know, so. Fuck with it or fuck with it not. But anyway, so yeah. Sometimes I'm loud, sometimes I'm quiet. It depends <laughs> on how I'm feeling. It just depends. You know? Oh, this bitch get loud as fuck. Like, it she like, loud as fuck. It like, depends. okay. But anyway, so yeah, so we're on, the, after they come into the workroom, anything specific happened in there? Just a lot of, uh, you know, practicing, rehearsing, picking the characters and things of that nature. Yeah. Pretty much it. Something like that. Just getting ready, getting ready for the shits. Oh, I got a tan. I've been in the sun. I've been a little. Yeah, so I, I need, get into this tan. I you know? need some so I need to be on somebody's beach. Okay. Like a Miami beach, a Costa Rican beach. Uh, Anybody want to fly Thailand, us out Thailand, onto that beach, beach, let us know, y'all. We available. Beach, beach me, please. <laughs> beach us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fly your boys out. You know what I'm saying? Get into it. You know what I'm saying? We do the show right there on the beach, right in the sand. Right at your house. <laughs> we take the clothes off, we can do all that. You know? <laughs> but anyways, where are we at in this show? You know, I get throw I get thrown off a little bit. So we are Oh, so we on the challenge now. We are the challenge. Fairy tale justice. Fairy tale justice. Let's get off into this fairy tale justice challenge. So the first group that comes out on the fairy tale justice is Team Jada S's Hall. So they got Michelle beside. She is the uh, judge. She plays she playing a witch, a New Jersey witch, so she got the Rita Repulsa here. Don't forget about the, sexy ass Bruno with um as the bailiff too. Bruno was a bunny rabbit. Bailiff rabbit. Easter rabbit. Is is bunny rabbit? Easter Yeah. Ooh. He's a fairy he's a fairy tale bunny. Some he's some type he's something something. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, he said yeah, that's a good reference. He said, you know, Michelle besides definitely he's looking at Rita Repulsa. You know, from Power Rangers, if y'all get that reference. Um, yeah, and she looked amazing. But yeah, Bruno ass. Bruno ass must have seen our reviews from last week, because bitch, I got the bunny ears, had the bunny ears on, so he wanted to um, put his bunny ears on too. So I fucks with you, Bruno. Just follow me back on Instagram. That go DJ, that's my DJ. But anyways. So yeah, Michelle looked good, he looked good. So that comes out, the name of their case is called Blow the House Down Boots. Boots. So, a play on three little pigs. Oh yeah, that's right. So Jinx is a pig, right? So Jinx come in the workroom first, and as soon as she comes in, the she in, she in the courtroom. Excuse me. <laughs> as soon as she comes to the courtroom, she immediately starts up. She starts fucking with the door. The door, the door went closed. So this bitch is just already starting at the gate, bitches. Giving us gags, gags, Already making drama. Me laugh at the door. The bitch ain't even said a fucking a word. word yet. <laughs> okay, I'm cracking the fuck up. So I knew what time it was. Like based on that, like little shit like that. I know how well you're going to do. That means you you ain't playing games if you're doing like little nuance type of shit. There you, you know go. What I, mean? I just fucks with Jinx though, cause she's just like when I knew this was improv, I just had like I was comfortable watching her. You know. Evie Ali came out as the uh, Big Bad Wolf. Uh, in the workroom, he uh, did two voices that I'm like, eh, eh, eh. He said it on a different voice, and yeah. it works. When he came sure. out, yeah, it definitely flowed. Like, it was real good, and it wasn't. I, I thought it was along the lines of the boogeyman that she had did for Snatch Game, but yeah. I was like, okay, bitch, this sound good. It you sound know? good. Yeah. And the uh, character looked good, and he playing, he doing pretty good, but it was a if it was a competition between him and well it is a competition, Jinx is winning. 
Right. <laughs> so then Jada comes out looking sassy, looking sexy. Bitch, Jada, you came the fuck out. I was like, bitch. Jada you, looks amazing. She looks so good. What like a sexy pig. Sexy ass fucking pig, bitch. Like oink oink. Go okay. Give it Miss Piggy realness. You know what I'm saying? So Jada came in and she was funny all real because she came in spinning and shit. Like, look at me, bitch, I'm classy bitch. You no know, type of shit. Um, very funny. Um, she was snorting, snorting, embodying the character. And her and Jinx together, just working together, magic. it was just bouncing, just boom, magic, boom. Magic, magic. It was so good. I never thought Jinx and Jada would be a good pair together. They're but a great pair together. They were so freaking good. I was like, yeah. Nobody dropped the ball. There was no pauses whatsoever. They was just both eating. eating they was. Eating, they was. And, and he was and jumping eating. in here and there. Boop, 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 boop. And, you know, they was all doing good. So he they, was doing a lot of, uh, like, physical... Physical yeah, shit. you know, a lot of leg shit and all of that. Like licking her balls and scratching and sniffing shit. And it gave the girls a lot to work and with. And they gave, especially Jinx. Jinx was like, well, if I knew a bitch could do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then they introduced Monet ass. So Monet ass come the fuck out. Just her walk alone, just come into that was just, just her walking funny. the way she looked disheveled and distraught and shit. <laughs> what was her name? And that bitch, Hamela, Hamela Anderson. Hamela Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Like just the way that bitch said her name. Like it just came. She came out funny. She was very funny. They they was all just flowing good together. Her nose could have been on a little. Yeah, like, like, like bitch. <laughs> Now you just threw that on your nose. Okay. You at least blended that shit in. You know what I'm saying? Gave us a little. I don't know if she did or the makeup artist did they shit, but whoever did they shaded her because her shit wasn't blended in like everybody else shit wasn't blended. Well, I'm blended like, in. girl, girl, what's going on? But overall, they all were amazing together. They, they all were did amazing. Good. But Jinx was like eating, eating. Like, and then she topped it off at the end. Y'all know at the end when you know when you talk to like the the court reporter, the yeah, court reporter, the court interviewer reporter. And shit outside in the hallway, like a people court and shit. Yeah. So, so RuPaul was some type of elf. Okay, with some flip flops on. <laughs> flip flops and pointy ears. <laughs> like, well, what, what do you think went wrong for you in this, uh, in the, in the trial? And, and Jinx is standing there, and her, and her fucking ear, her ear fell, fell off, y'all. She's like, oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> she just started improving out the world. She didn't fucking know that shit was gonna happen, so she just started improving. RuPaul talked to her. She's like, I can't hear you. Like it was so funny. So I had my eyes start watering that shit, y'all. Like just she ain't missed a fucking that. beat. That shit killed me. It was fucking just hilarious. overall. That, I'm like, yeah, this other team ain't gonna compare. Just. The, Cause I was crying, and yeah. when I start crying, I'm, and my, I'm like, oh, she won. Yeah, like, she won. That was so she good. Won. That was good. She did great. Next up, we got group Teen Trinity. Teen Trinity. It was okay, you know. So not, the name of their case is she didn't. She, she didn't already didn't have hers. She didn't already had hers. The like consummate that. RuPaul slogan for decades to come. But that came from somewhere. It Where came, did that come RuPaul from? RuPaul told a story. I'm not gonna tell the story right, but. <laughs> One time he was at a bar and I believe a drunk woman came in there. Maybe she was drunk. I don't know, but I don't know. The woman said that and RuPaul always thought that was funny and he always said it after that. Something of that nature. Why did she say it though? I, I told you I wasn't gonna tell the story, right? But that's where he got it from. Some woman had a I'm work. sure somebody gonna know it. Layla, go ahead and tell us, girl, because I know you got all the tea, bitch. Tell us what tell us why, okay? <laughs> you know my sister Layla, you know, she gonna school you on all the tea. My sister don't miss. So drop down and let us know, sis. Why where she get it from? So anyway, so that's the name of their case or whatever. And um yeah, so who started it out first? Shay, Shay walked the fuck in. Shay, so looking this like a this, badass this wolf. On a What's three, it, a wolf or a bear? Three little bears. Like a wolf Goldilocks and the three bears. So she's a bear, right? Oh, she was a bear. She looked like a bear though. She's like a wolf, huh? She had paws and she had like bear feet. No, she too. was a bear because all her stuff was a berry bed, and she went to the berry, the right? Berry cheesecake. Right. right. Cause Goldilocks and the three bears. But she looked like a wolf, though, didn't she? She did. Got there, right? Yeah, I think it's the, I think it's the makeup. <laughs> but anyway, so she came in and you know she did. She started it out. He was laughing. I wasn't, but so next. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got brain, my brain froze. <laughs> so, 
So, <laughs> at the shade. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My prank got stuck. So, when Roger came out? I think so. <laughs> and Roger playing their um, grandmother, y'all. Y'all know from the Three Beers? No. For the, for the Big Bad Wolf. Oh. Red Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Oh yeah, cause she playing. Yeah, come. On. <laughs> so Raza came out, and don't get me wrong, like Raza, she body and her character, right? Right. And she doing the little nuances and main rhythms, but the shit just ain't funny. It was. I feel like because she playing the old lady, I just feel like okay. Yeah, you... it's kind of funny parts, kind of, but it wasn't like over. Like how Jinx and that shit was. I'm like, bitch, you just played this character on Snatch Game. You know, it's still too alone and close to it. So I'm like, like old lady drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cause she gonna stay true to that black. Don't get me hair. wrong, like she, like she eating, like as far as her acting and shit, like she made it. She made business. She got mm. the nuances going around. She doing a little slow old lady movement. She, she eating. It just ain't over the top funny for me. I'm not like, you know, I'm not laughing. Yeah. I'm just not fucking laughing, you know. I kind of chuckle. Yeah. But I ain't laugh. I ain't. I ain't. But the Vicky in this body and her shit, you know what I'm saying? She was definitely. At first, I didn't know where the fuck she was going with her character because, you know, with this, the Scottish accent kind of threw me off a little bit. So when she did the Scottish accent, she was Little Red. I mean, no, I, she was Goldilocks. Goldilocks. I didn't know Goldilocks was now Scottish. Now she's doing another accent. Goldilocks Scottish? Well, that was a gender fuck. That's why she did that. <laughs> gender fuck. And now she How doing the, gender fuck? the voice. <laughs> and now she doing a. Uh, <laughs> now she doing a little red riding hood. Now she doing you another voice. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And now somebody else coming out. Who coming out now? And so then after she came out, shit, they all out. Trinity bring her old ass out, dressed like motherfucking. Now Trinity is the side. Now Trinity is a witch, dressed like Rita Repulsa. See the gingerbread house witch. So which make the Vivian change up again? I was so confused. Not a not a Vivian is Hansel and Gretel, bitch. Because at the end of the day, bitch, the Vivian, bitch. I don't know your I, your accents, lot a British accent, but bitch, all that shit sound the same at the end of the day to me, huh? Oh no, it's it does. No. Shit. That's why I was <laughs> no. That's why I'm like she playing what all these man? characters, bitch. These are all the same voices. No, I was just like they different voices, but bitch, that shit sound the same. <laughs> no, it was different. That shit was different. <laughs> bitch, she's playing Scottish, I, I, British, all these different accents. Is too so, I thought too I was close. watching Sybil. Uh -huh. All these personalities. That shit sounds the same to me. And I know Dre Balenciaga can agree with me on this, bitch. It sounds the same. No, that shit is different. <laughs> In the comments, wasn't that shit different? In the comments. Talk to me, y'all. It was. But well, overall, you Talk know. Talk to me in the comments, y'all. Overall, they shit wasn't given, like, you know, the first team. They did what they could, they tried to do what they could, and you know. Evie was there too. Evie still was the the big bad wolf. She I don't know why she was even there. I guess she was just part of just the animals in the back. Yeah, the grandma. Grandma and the big, what big eyes you got, grandma? Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf gotta be there too. He was there around this pussy and. So what's, the, in the first girl, wait, what, what the three little pigs, I'm just the sitting same. next to my ass and my pussy. So listen, so, <laughs> I get that, but the, it's the that same. That was a good joke. Is that the same, the same wolf, it's the same wolf from. It's the same wolf. I'm saying no, in real life though. Not in real life, but and technically in the story, in the fairy tale. In our fairy tale on Drag Race? No, not their fairy tale, because I know he's playing the same he wolf. playing the same But wolf no, in Three Little Pairs, the story, when you're a kid, is that the same wolf as Goldilocks? It depends on who's playing. I don't give a damn shit. Let's it get to this runway. Who's writing the story at the time? Creators, Liberty. Can we get to this runway? <laughs> <laughs> With all that being said, y'all know what time it is. Shit, goddammit. It's time to run away, run away, run away. It's time for the runways, y'all. RuPaul coming out. So RuPaul is walking out, bitch, in the old nasty. Like, bitch, my bitch got gloves on today. Like, yes, ma'am, it's blonde hair. She giving you okay, a whole blonde. Nasty. I That's mean, platinum. Is silver, blonde, platinum, platinum, silver. It's all the same to me. Everything always the same to me. It's huh? like a, to me, it remind me of like a, a cowgirl outfit, like a blue May West. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm saying Shorter it's like some back in the day. I'm gonna fuck with it. I'm gonna top it. It's definitely a top, but my bitch was definitely wobbling walking down the runway. I was a little nervous <laughs> as she was walking, but 
you know, she did what she did. You know, I like her outfit. It gave it gave what needed to be gave, and um, yeah, it's a top for me. The category is gonna be this evening spikes on the runway. Spikes on the runway. Spikes on the runway, Mike. So let's do this shit. First up on the runway coming out is Jada S.S. Hall in this. Come oh on, Jada. God. Bitch, I was scared in the workroom when you was putting that paint on. I wasn't. I didn't know where you was going with it. I wasn't. But you did it. No, Look I at wasn't here. at all. I knew great things was about to come out of this. Oh, yeah, that too. But, bitch, she can paint good as fuck. This hair, mug is the almost, makeup, the mug is abstract. The spice the is abstract. The spice is abstract. Everything about it. I love the look. It's just delightful. I, I'm enjoying it top. so much. It's a mean ass top for me. I love it. It's I definitely a top. I love it. I mean, if I had to nitpick, bitch, I could have said somebody too should have told one of the girls to paint the back of the neck. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. I'm nitpicking, but other than that, I'm not nitpicking. It's that over. Top. I wouldn't have noticed it unless he ain't pointed out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Jinx Monsoon. So it's quintessential Jinx. It's old Maiden. Now I said this last week. It's downtown Abbott. It's Jinx. You know, it's Jinx. But it ain't bad though. It ain't bad, it's you know. She gonna waddle out. You it's know. clean. It's her interpretation of spice on the runway. She got a porcupine on her fucking back. Um, top, top. I like it. It ain't no yeah. fucked up shit. You know what I mean? It's alright. Next up, we got Monet Exchange. Monet. First off, I love Monet's mohawk. It is everything. This the mohawk is everything. I love this punk rock. Homage that she's giving, bitch. Your ass is poking out so fat. On I this love shit. Monet's ass. She got okay, a lot of ass. old fat ass. Yes, God, she and that's her ass. ass. This bitch ain't padded. Okay, Monet don't got a pass. This. If I had to nitpick, I mean, you know, it's the goddamn. It's the shoes. Like I could have did without the fucking, you know, yellow laces in the boots, but the boots are spot on for the look. It's just the laces that's throwing it off for me. But the look overall is still a top. For sure. I like that shit. I like that rocker edgy type of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Shit. For sure, cuz. For sure. Right on my alley. Next up, we got the Evie Alley. Evie. All right, so Evie walking out giving you praying mantis type of tees, giving you, you know, those heels, those ballet stiletto heels that Beyonce had in the Green Light video. Why would um, they make heels that people can't walk in? You ain't supposed to walk in. You're supposed to just, just pose. Fashion. Yeah, they're supposed to just pose in on fashion, darling. Fashion. You know, you're supposed to give, po you know, different fashion. But um, I see why she got the thing to walk in those holes. But I feel like she should have kind of like transformed her face a little more. The makeup is cute, but I wanted a more of a praying mantis type of feel. Okay. So what yeah. What you gonna do with it? I'm a, um, I'm gonna top the look. I I'm gonna be generous also, this week. I will bitch. also top the look. I think when it was when the look was explained to me better, I I enjoyed it more. I'm yeah. just gonna top the look. Yeah. Next up we got Trinity the Tuck Taylor. She never miss. She never miss. So for her spike, this bitch is a vampire, and the spike is coming through her motherfucking chest. Okay, and, and out the back, bitch. Okay. And this bitch it's is giving the details. You, the details is everything. This bitch is giving me stained glass church fucking windows. As always. The hair is over. The illusion backdrop around her head is over. But yeah, it's the stained glass windows that's the cape, the train for me. Like she got that a is motherfucking mean ass train. Top. This bitch is. The draggies of the drags. <laughs> it's the top. Like it's As perfect. always. It's really I didn't good. expect anything less. It's great. Next up we got the Vivian. The Vivian. The motherfucking fashion for Oh yeah. Ass. Oh yeah, Viv. Oh yeah, Viv. Oh. This look right here is so fucking hot. It's over. It's everything. It's I love the spike. It's give you like a is it like Hellraiser type of homage? Ooh, I can a blue Hellraiser, like I love the chaps, I love the bodysuit, I love the mask, I love everything about it. It's sexy, everything. It's it's an image. It's all that top, bitch. It's yes, a, it's a top. Get it, girl. Next up, we got Raja. Raja, bitch. Let me let me see let me see this look. Let me get into look. Let me get into it, Raja. This look very. Very expensive. It looks so fucking expensive. Like, bitch, I'm sure everybody look put together can't even amount to how much you pay for this. 
This shit is everything. It's everything. You know, I will everything. give it up to Faraja. Like, this bitch was this Coming bitch on a runway hard. Mean ass fucking fashions to this Week after show. week. She ain't won a goddamn thing. But she's winning this runway. She's winning this fucking runway. Because this bitch is fucking fire on this The headpiece, the cape, the jewels on it. Like, the boots. The boots. You see the boots? The boots. The embellishment to the boots. Everything. The fucking the shoulders. The, the ponytail. The crystal diamond spikes. All the, that. All that, all that, top. I'm a fist it. I love oh, it. Oh, you fisting it? I love it. Wait a minute, he fisting it. Wait a minute, he is fisting it. Where's my, where's my lube? Okay, <laughs> I left the lube, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know how we do it. Goddamn it, like, ugh. It's strong. It's a I strong it. look. I ain't fisting it, but he gonna do it this way. I week. love it. It's good. It's, it's a fister. Next up, we got <laughs> Shea Kool Aid. All right, so Shay coming out giving you alien like realness type of tea, some type of alien fairy. I like it. I think that the cape could have been longer, the train could have been a little longer, but I, I see where she's going with it. I don't see where she's going. With I think it. the the cape would have been should have been longer with a bunch more spikes. Just I don't know if her spikes are you know? up or falling down how they are. Well, it spikes on the tail the too. Look at the train. I'm looking at that train. That's the ones I'm talking about. Oh, some of them leaning, and some of them standing. <laughs> you see that too. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it's a soft top for me. I see what she wanted to do. I'm gonna chop it. I don't care for it. <sighs> I don't get it. I just don't get it. I can't believe you chopped Shea Kool Aid. She ain't unchoppable. Fuck that. She is fucking unchoppable. You can't yeah. chop Shea Kool Aid. I can. I, God I, damn it. I love Shea Kool Aid. And she know that. But I ain't fucking with this look. It ain't for me. Shay. She gonna hate us now. She ain't gonna hate us. She probably already do. You know, probably, she, she ain't probably know me either. <laughs> <laughs> She too grand, so she ain't probably seen us. She ain't probably the one queen I feel like she ain't really like seen us. She probably seen us, but she ain't like said nothing yet, bitch. You got, you know. But if you're watching down, much love to you. We, you know, you watching, bitch. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, so that was all the looks. That was all the girls. Who was your favorite this week? Raja. Raja. Yeah. Um, Raja definitely had a strong look, but I'm gonna definitely say between Raja and. The Vivian? It's a great look. It you was, say the Vivian? You can. It was an amazing look. They all had some great looks. Like, Trendy shit is fucking fire. The Vivian shit is fucking fire. Raja shit is fucking fire. Jada look was fucking fire. Jada, Jada look was over. Jada look was over. It was so, over. You know, we praise Jada every week. I want to get some love to somebody else. Jada bitch, your shit was everything. Like, I enjoy, like, all, like, I enjoy all the looks. Yeah. Like, I didn't hate none of the looks. Yeah, none of them I didn't hate them. Shays. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, you hate it. Yeah, you did chop I didn't care for that. But I loved all the yeah, looks. Yeah, you should chop Evie's for that. Hell. I like Evie's look. The more I look at it, the more... I mean, eyes. I bet you'll get an A plus for I'm like videos. Evie's makeup too. That's a good makeup for Evie. Like her makeup. But it just don't fit the way. costume for me. Like the, it should have been like, it bitch, you should have had some motherfucking like, prostatics on, bitch. It okay. Fits to me, bitch, you should have gave me Onyx. You know Onyx from Espana. Yeah, want to give you Onyx. She should have gave me some old nasty Onyx. Onyx. You know what I'm saying? You gonna do this? Look like a fucking praying mantis or some type of alien? Give me some Onyx tees. Give me some um. Who else from up over there? Uh, what's her name? I really love Trinity look. Um, 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 what's the bitch name? The Picasso bitch. From last, first season from Espania. You Gacio. Oh, Pammy Pam Pam? No, who Gacio as? You know what I'm saying? Give me some dramatics. Ooh, you Gacio Crente. Okay, you Gacio don't play that shit. But yeah, so. I like this runway. The audience list was kind of over to me. It was hard to mm. just dial in for me. Man. I enjoy a lot of looks. The train looks fucking fire to me. I just like an old nasty I like a literal runway. Like, I don't like my runway where you got to, like, deep, think deeply into the shit. Like, last like, fucking week. I like it. Bitch, bitch don't do that. that. It was cool, but bitch. <sighs> Don't be doing all that extra shit with the runway. Just give me an old nasty regular runway, bitch. Give me black. Give me, you know, spring. Give me my basics. Y'all want some basic shit, okay? No give basics, me the basics. Yeah. Shit. That's why I watch Drag Race. I can watch basic <laughs> everywhere else. So anyway, so with that being said, the top two all-stars of the week goes to Jinx Monsoon and 
The Vivian. If I look at all the statistics and facts, I guess rightfully so. Overall, yeah, I will say so. If I do say so, myself. rightfully so. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, with those two being the top two, god damn it, let's get off into this lip sync, because these hoes got the lip sync this week. What about the sing to a Whitney Houston song called Love Will Save the Day? I'm not familiar with it. Y'all, it's some, um, <laughs> it's a like Jelly Bean David remix, so somebody remix this shit. Your house remix. So here we go, let's get off into it. But Whitney sound good, I'm just not familiar with okay. this song. Hey. Oh, the Vivian look amazing. They she looks shine. good. I like this chain she did. She moving. She giving you a good, a good lip sync. Like she giving you a good American lip sync. She ain't giving you that UK shit. She sure like. Right. <laughs> she strutting the stage. Jinx is not strutting the stage. She's just kind of walking around the stage. <laughs> okay. Come on, the Vivian. The Vivian been working. Okay. She took that jacket off and the fringe is out. And you know, fringe is great for a battle. It's definitely great for a lip sync. It all, it's, all, it, it's always. Hey. Come on, Vivian, work the stage, girl. She is running through this stage, okay? Running circles around um, Jinx's ass. Jinx is there? Okay. <laughs> uh, Jada just cheated and handed Vivian a fucking weapon. That's an exact phone. Okay. <laughs> that's still a cheat. That's cheating. Give me my props. You know I'm always about all the props. Okay. As long as it's, it's done right. She yeah. stole that from Monet. Y'all know how Monet pat her pussy when she do her lip sync. The pussy pat. The pussy pat. That's Monet. Uh, okay, Viv the Vivian. Okay. This real song. Real is jamming. The Vivian jamming. She getting it. Hey. I already know who won this shit. It's obvious because the other person, I didn't even see them. The Vivian definitely worked this song for sure, for sure. She can't do much when it ain't time to laugh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> can't do much. She when did what she had to do. You know, she got a. She, she, I had a, a few laughs in there. She did a few laughs. Yeah. But, anyways, so the winner of this week challenge goes to. The Vivian. The Vivian. Good job, The Vivian. So as you know, you know, Jinx can't get no fucking badge because she's blocked. Blocked. She's blocked from blocked. last week, so she don't get a badge this week. Nothing. So uh, Jinx, uh, I mean, yeah, The Vivian get her fucking badge this week. The shout out to you, bitch, yes. She didn't get her badge. She get $10,000, and she also won $2,500 last so. week. so. But I know she's gonna get a no, badge anyway. $1,500. Cause from the beginning of the episode when she's talking about I'm gonna get a badge, I'm gonna get a badge. You know Poor how. Poor bitches said that. You know a lot of people don't ride don't got no badge. The but the way, they, no the way they edit the shit and they go into the... the um, oh, how to keep the camera on her? Yeah. I need the badge. Yeah. And then they go into like the I need a badge to take back cross to pawns. To pawns. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, so my bitch, you know, she got the thing, so she got the power to block a bitch. So she going down the line, you know what I'm saying? She sizing the girls up, looking them up and down and shit like, hey, who's going block? Who on from the block? Because the block is hot. The block is hot. Hot, hot. The block is hot. She walks towards Zeta as his heart, she attempts to hand it to her, and then she turns real quick and says, here, Monet. Take the plunger, ho. Monet. So she gave the plunger to Monet. So Monet is blocked, so she cannot win a badge this week. So right now, everybody has a badge except for Evie, Oddly, and Raja, right? Correct. Yeah, them the only two ones that don't have a badge. I feel like before anyone gets a second badge, I feel like everyone's gonna have a badge because this show has been all you about- You never know. I feel like this show has been all about equality and making sure everybody's considered a queen. So I feel like they're all are gonna get a badge before somebody else wins. You never them. know. But yeah, you never know. But that's just my guess. That's your theory? Yeah. We'll see if that holds true. Anybody in the comments wanna play some bets on it? Uh-uh, because then they're going to start, you know, they be knowing what would be happening. So don't y'all tell us what happened. Let's, let us just have our opinions. Oh, they do be knowing, huh? Okay. I don't know how, but I guess they be reading Could there be a channel too. on YouTube to tell you the elimination order? Or oh, ain't no eliminations. But, but they yeah, still know who, like, has But the it is a channel order. on there that does it. Yeah, yeah, but... But they got the elimination order for France out already. And they ain't even out yet. But they got See, that's why I don't be looking at that shit, because I don't be having time to, like... I like to genuinely watch the show... 
give my thoughts on who I think is a great queen versus looking at who is gonna win. Like, why would that's just like reading up on I used to do this all the time. Like if somebody tell me to watch a movie, so I'm like, oh my god, this movie's so good. I'm gonna read up on it and read everything about the movie. And then it's pretty much as I'm watching the movie, I know everything that's happening, so it's not that. I know, right? <laughs> right? It was stupid, but I just like to know what I'm getting myself the fuck into. You know what I'm saying? You watch the trailer. Huh? You watch the trailer. Right, but no, I still like to watch the movie, watch the movie and just like, let me see what this shit is all the uh, fuck about. Uh, I don't like But I don't do that anymore because I like the thrill of watching the show, the yeah, anticipation. Me. Right, so the same with drag or, in a, in, or either competition well, especially shows. Especially if they got a twist ending. You don't yeah, like that. you don't want to ruin it, but a lot of these drag race followers, they like to look at shit ahead of time and know like I don't get that why why tell us why people like no why though why don't you just even though all the shit is fucking fake at the end of the day like just have fun with it and just sit back and watch it in real fucking time this is like them bitches that go to concert and record the whole concert the whole time like be in the moment Ugh. the moment but anyways we so glad y'all stay here and watched it with us and um you know how we do we our crazy sales, our crazy sales, and you know, we say some of the most foolish things, but you know, that's why y'all here, fucking with us. We appreciate it. Most definitely. Yeah. But um, yeah, so if you are a new follower, once we once again, subscribe to this channel, send this video to your mama, your daddy, and your ball head and the granny, and tell them to subscribe to this channel subscribe. as well. Subscribe. subscribe. We need more followers, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, yes, it's coming along the bill. We getting these followers up there. Yes. Yeah. It's all the love, all the Shout out to World of Wonder. Shout out to World of Wonder. You know what I'm saying? We know y'all watching out there. Y'all fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with y'all too. Let us know, you know what I'm saying, what the tea is. But um, um, yeah, and also if you guys would like to donate to this channel, patronize this channel, tip us, whatever you want to call it, we'll put this right here or also in the description, but right here as well. Screenshot it right here. That way you don't forget it. And see your boys some love, all right? All right. Thank y'all so much for watching, and we will see them next week, right? Next week. Next week. Same place. Same time. Same channel. The same dicks. Always remember to do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Thank y'all so much.